Hello, Sam Dennis here, Head of Public Sector and Defence for Copters. And today we are looking at a brand new payload from DJI, the H20N. This is the camera right here, and it is perfect for low light inspection and nighttime search and rescue missions due to the unique starlight sensor this camera has. So that's what we're gonna take a look at today. Now I know what you're thinking looking at it straight off the bat. It's very similar to the DJI H20T and the other camera in that series, the standard H20. And it is of the same family. What this does that those don't have is it integrates a starlight sensor on its zoom and wide angle cameras. This is paired with standard zoom cameras alongside a laser rangefinder. What it gives you from there is a really, really versatile payload for use in nighttime searches and nighttime inspection. But just how good is this payload? We'll take a look at the sensors right now. On the top left of the payload, you have the wide thermal camera. And on the bottom right, you'll see the thermal tele camera. Both of these are top of the range 640 by 512 pixel in resolution, and they offer a two times and eight times optical zoom respectively. Paired together, you can get a maximum of 32 times thermal zoom. Now this is more than you can get on the Zenmuse H20T, but at the same resolution. In the bottom left, you have a four megapixel night vision starlight sensor. This offers a 20 times optical zoom and a total of 128 times zoom. This isn't quite as good as the Zenmuse H20T, which offers a 200 times zoom in total. However, you can use it due to the starlight sensor in a range of different environments and in different light settings. So although it's not quite as powerful as the H20T, it does have a much greater use case. Looking at the top right of the sensor, you'll see the laser rangefinder. Now this is the exact same laser rangefinder that you'll find on the Zenmuse H20T. It has an operational envelope of three meters to 1200 meters. Pair this with some of the AI smart features that we'll come onto a bit later, and you'll see how this sensor is a really powerful tool for search and rescue. The last sensor we have is the two megapixel night vision camera, which is going to provide you with a really crisp overview picture of the site you're monitoring. This is perfect for enhancing situational awareness on large scale searches and coordinating ground teams at night. So we've spoken about the sensors on the camera, but let's now take a look at some of the smart features that the H20N has. Some of the smart features have returned from the H20T and they include smart pinpoint, where it's using the laser rangefinder to tag coordinates of a location, allowing you to return to those at a later date or relay information to a command unit. It also has AI smart track, which allows you to tag a person or an object of interest, such as a car, and the camera will follow that object automatically. That way the pilot only has to think about one thing and that's piloting the drone. You'll also have one tap panorama, the camera will capture 360 degree panoramas in under one minute. This is incredibly helpful for emergency responders who are looking to gain rapid situational awareness. We also have high res grid photos, which allow you to zoom in after you've completed a mission so you can see specific features of your assets in closer detail. This one's leaning a bit more towards the inspection market. And finally, our favorite addition to the smart features of the new H20N is the synchronized split screen zoom option. So what this allows you to do is zoom in on a certain object with the thermal camera and the standard night vision camera at the same time on a split screen on the controller. So what you can do there is you can compare an image at night with the standard camera with the night vision sensor alongside a thermal image and get a live view of what those two cameras can see at the exact same time. So this has been an overview of the brand new Zemuse H20N from DJI. And as you can see, there are a lot of similarities between this and the H20T. It just depends on the environments you're going to be operating in as to which camera will be most useful for you. Watch this space for a full comparison piece between the two. And if you've got any questions in terms of which sensor might be best for you to use with your Matrice 300, please do let us know. Get in contact at sales at copters.com or give the office a call and we'll be more than happy to help. My name's Sam Deniff and thanks very much for watching.